Let us move on to the next mode of presentation of data. It is diagrammatic representation of data. So here we are going to present the data maybe in the form of charts. It can be presented in the form of uh, uh, diagrams or it can be presented in the form of pictures. So in this mode we are going to use more of diagrammatic form for presenting the data. See the previous two methods wherein we had the textual representation of data and tabulation form those presentations can be made only to the educated segment of the society whereas the diagrammatic representation of data can be made for both the educated and uneducated segments of the society. So that is more uh, benefit or uh, the key point of diagrammatic representation of data. Apart from that, if there is any trend in the data and if it is not that visible in textual or tabulated form, it will be more evident or more clear in diagrammatic representation of data. But there is only one issue, this data or this method is not that accurate. So when you want to present data where you want to show or you want to project only the accurate numbers or only the accurate information, diagrammatic representation of data may not be the right choice. In such cases, tabulation would be the right choice. But where the cases you want to cover all segments of the society and where you can use macro information, diagrammatic representation of data is the beautiful choice. In diagrammatic representation, we have three models. So in diagrammatic representation of data, we have three diagrams, I would say. Number one, what is known as line diagram. We call it as line diagram or there is another name for that. It is called histogram. So number one in diagrammatic representation is line diagram or histogram. And number two is drawing a bar diagram. And number three is drawing a pie chart for representing the data. So let us understand each and every diagram in detail in the subsequent videos.